Welcome to your 10 minute full body stretch for flexibility and relaxation. First go into a butterfly stretch and once you're in this stretch place your hands by your side and close your eyes to take three to five deep breaths. As you exhale with each breath try to think of your body sinking in towards the ground to release any tension. Throughout this routine, make sure that you are continuously taking these deep breaths as you stretch and if you would like, you can now open your eyes and then reach up and forward in your butterfly stretch to feel an even deeper stretch in your hips. If you can't reach all the way down to the ground yet, that's completely fine. Just go as far as it takes for you to feel a good stretch. Remaining in your butterfly stretch, you can now sit back up and then reach one arm over to its opposite side. Now switch which arm is reaching over and go to the opposite side. From the butterfly stretch, straighten out one leg with your toes pointed and then reach either towards your ankle, your foot, or your knee depending on where your flexibility level is. Once you're reaching as far forward as you can for an even deeper stretch, let your chest sink towards the ground. We are now going to repeat that same stretch except with your front foot flexed to feel an even deeper stretch in your hamstring. You can now sit back up and then rotate your hips towards the bent leg and reach over top of it to feel a stretch in your hips. Now we're going to repeat all of those reaches with the opposite leg bent in starting with reaching over top of the straight leg with your toes pointed. Sit back up and then reach forward with your foot flexed. And now reach over top of the bent leg. For the next stretch, sit back up and then place your legs straight out in front of you as we're going to do a seated pike stretch. Once you're sitting with your legs straight out in front of you like this, reach up and then as you exhale, reach forward trying to grab onto either your ankles or your feet. If you feel a stretch here, then you can stay here, but if not, try to sink your chest towards the ground.
Like the last stretch, we're going to repeat the seated pike stretch with your feet flexed to feel an even deeper stretch in your hamstrings. From here, step back up to standing, trying to reach as close to the ground as you currently can. Once you are standing, grab onto either your ankles or your knees, whichever your flexibility allows, and then for a deeper stretch, try to sink your head towards the ground. You can now place your hands back on the ground and then step your hands and feet out into a downward dog position. In the downward dog, we're going to bend each leg five times. When bending each leg, you should be feeling a deeper stretch in the straight leg. Step your feet out into a wide stance and we're going to do triangle so open up your chest to the front while reaching your top arm up and placing your bottom hand on either your ankle or your knee, whichever feels more comfortable to you. Rotate your legs so that they are both facing the front and then reach towards one ankle and if you can, try to let your head sink towards the ground. Now reach towards the center. If you feel a good stretch just trying to reach towards the ground, stay there, but if not, try to let your head sink even closer to the ground. Now reach towards your other ankle. From here, rotate your front foot out to the side and we're going to repeat the triangle position on the opposite side. Go back into a downward dog and then from there go on to your hands and knees to do balancing tabletop five times on each leg. If you haven't done balancing tabletop before, you're basically just lifting up one arm and the leg opposite to it. Go back up into your downward dog position, trying to push your chest backwards to really stretch out your shoulders. Drop your hips to go down into a seal stretch, arching back as far as it takes for you to feel a stretch. In your seal stretch, twist your upper body towards one side. And now to the other side. Now 
now bend your legs and reach forward to go into a child's pose. 